PG MOL incompetence or corruption. Now, Drizzy, I want to have a serious conversation with you about this because I can hear your brain ticking over saying you're a Liverpool fan and not winning the league and it's an excuse and, you know, I really want to have a serious conversation briefly based on the uh, ramifications of poor refereeing. Now, um, recently Nottingham Forest had three penalty decisions ruled against them uh, when they played Everton, which led to putting them, them putting out statements on uh, X or Twitter, as we know it. One of them were definitely a clear penalty. And instead of VAR suggesting to the on-field referee to look at the screen, they dismissed it and it ended up, obviously, Nottingham Forest dropping points. Now, I'm not saying Nottingham Forest would have won that game per se, but you know goals can change situations. More recently, Chelsea were robbed of a decision against Aston Villa. Now, with all the technical stuff that we have now with the new officiating, it, it should improve the game, but it hasn't. And now you've got pundits and you've got people on TalkSport. You've got that biscuit face Simon Jordan on TalkSport caping for PG, PGMOL and the referees, Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher, all caping, twerking on Sky Sports for these, for these heinous crimes. So first of all, I want to highlight these crimes. The start of it is when Simon Hooper in that game against uh, Spurs, Man City Spurs, where in the final minutes, Haaland takes the ball, gets fouled in the middle, in midfield. You can see that the referee pushes the game on and says, continue play because his arm goes out. Haaland passes the ball to Jack Grealish, who is in on goal. And then the referee decides to pull the game back. Now that could have been a moment for City to win the game, but, that weird decision that was made was something that I didn't understand. Then you have the infamous situation with Liverpool and Spurs where Diaz scores a goal and it is ruled out as offside when it was clearly not. Um, Arsenal had a weird decision against not uh, Newcastle where Joe Linton blatantly pushes Gabriel in the back. VAR, VAR took several moments to make a decision and... Uh, it eventually stood. Now, there was no issue uh, with the push in the back as far as VAR was concerned. But then also, there could have been a, a situation where the ball had gone out before. So you got that. Then you've got two situations with Man United Wolves, which is which is uh, the Man United uh, Wolves game where uh, Wolves centre-back nearly gets his head taken off by Onana. And it completely misses the flight of the ball and uh, when trying to clear it. Now, it's not, for me, bias. This is blatant flagrancy from the officiating team. Harold Webb and all of the referees who I think are absolutely shoddy. Now, I personally think that something needs to be done because the fan base is getting pushed to the side. The pundits are saying like, oh, the fans are complaining and they shouldn't because it, it all kind of works itself out throughout the season. And then you've got uh, the clubs who are making statements, but the statements are being pushed under the rug, so to speak, to say, you know, how dare you make a statement about the referees and how dare you say that the referees are not officiating the game properly when we know this whole thing is an absolute farce. Uh, what do you think, Drizzy, based on that information? The game was all right how it used to be. Yeah. We knew what an offside was. Yeah. We knew what a pen was, what a free kick was. You'd get the, obviously, as, as old as the game has been, you'd get the, oh, if that was... Anywhere else on the pitch, it'd be a yellow card or a yeah. foul. But why is it not a penalty? We used to get that, but it used to be create good, healthy debate and good discussions yeah. after the game and this and the third. But I don't know. I just feel like if you're going to invest in something like that, that's going to impact the game. Yep. It's meant to make everyone's life easier. 
which I don't know because I feel like it takes away from the end. Absolutely. The end, then you got to do it properly. And if you're not ready to do it properly, don't roll it out yet. That's like buying a car and you're not doing an MOT on it and you want to drive it to yeah. Scotland and back. Yeah. Like, let's do it properly. Do some test trials. Do it in the lower leagues and work it up. Because the Premier League is such a big business industry Facts. that you can't have these stupid things happening. Yeah. Trial it in these lower league games. Trial it in League Two for a season. League Try one, it in women's football. Championship, women's football. Trial it in all of these games. In, uh, oh, yeah. Leagues. Don't worry about it. Try it in all of these leagues. And then once it's definitively black or white, you can't have grey in football. Yeah. Plus it makes for awkward looking kit, but you can't have grey in football. <laughs> until then, I'm personally under the impression of just take it away until you fix it. You figured it out. Because you're, we're seeing it. The thing is, unless you've been to a football game live, you then realise there's such a huge delay from watching a live football game in the stadium to when you're watching it at your crib. Facts. There's a, the, the millisecond feels like two minutes between what happened on the pitch and how it's been transmitted on your TV screen. We're seeing things and we're calling it there and then. Yeah. Because we've, the, we've, we've got the screen. We're, we and we can, can rewind. and yeah. we, We've got that and we're doing it on a delayed time. Yeah. And I've seen too many times where things have gone against my team to the point where I am just emotionally drained yep. from it. Like, I just don't care. If it's a penalty for us, great. If it's a penalty against us and I see it's starting to happen, it's like, raw. they gave that. I just keep moving. I yeah. just can't. I'm at a point now. I just can't bother to invest in and, it. And it's the thing, yeah. I'm the same, Jersey, because when it when there was no VAR and, and officiating and on that level, the referee, made, the ref made mistakes. We moved on. We made a little noise about it, but we kept it moving. Yeah, it's a human error. But when you have blatant, you have people working in a uh, a space, looking at a game on different screens, on different angles, and they're still making these crazy mistakes. I personally think it's corruption. I personally do. Well, we'll find out. The, the truth always comes to the do you light. Think, do, you, but do, you, do you think that... I don't I, think it is. I just think... I, I, just think, think, I think... Corruption, but not in a, not in like a straightforward sense. In a sense that there's nothing wrong with the, te the technology. Yeah, it's the people interpreting it, and they don't like really. They all need retrain, or they need to get rid of them. Yeah, it's that simple. But yeah. you know, it's a, it's a men's club. So there, it's like for example, like you remember, they're all in Sky Sports pocket. Yeah, so you can't work for Sky Sports and speak out against facts. You can't. Work for talk sport and speak out against facts. You know, it's all owned by a, f a few people. Yeah, who mm. who set pace. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know, it's a different. You know, it's, it's not like independent. Yeah, it's not like Which we're, is, yeah. we're not playing the same game. It's, no. it's, it's yeah. higher ups. Yeah, I absolutely and I Illuminati. <laughs> Did you take a sponsorship from them? From who? Them. If Ye's in, if Ye's in there, no. <laughs> <laughs> let us know your thoughts, man. Yeah, let us know your thoughts in the yeah, comments. Yeah, put in the comment section. Let us know. Do you think that the the current the current consistent slew of errors that are being uh are being clocked up? Do you think it's on purpose? Do you think it's just, it's just error? Do you think they just haven't got their head wrapped around how to use the technology, Pause. or do you think they are? Just doing it because there's profits to be gained and it benefits other teams and other things that we are none the wiser to. Let us know. It's the Drizzy and Morgan show. Yeah. Should be love.